Our top story tonight is from Canada. The country's Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, may be out of office as early as next Monday. Yes, you are hearing that right. Trudeau may no longer be the Prime Minister of Canada come 28th October. And why is Trudeau in trouble, you're wondering? Well, because his own party members want him out. Yes, his own party members, fearing that if he is not removed, the Liberal Party will be staring at a massive defeat in next year's federal election. Well, that surely says a lot about how unhappy they are with Trudeau. And in case you are wondering, how did things even reach this point? And just how unpopular is Trudeau really? And does the strained diplomatic relationship between India and Canada have anything to do with all of this? With Trudeau being the only leader in the West going out, going out of his way to become hostile to India. Let's just break it all down for you. As per reports, in a closed-door meeting on Wednesday, at least 24 Liberal MPs signed a letter calling for Trudeau to step down as the leader of the Liberal Party. This is big. And it comes as a huge embarrassment for the Canadian leader. It gets worse. Reportedly, Trudeau was given an ultimatum to decide by October 28th and what happens if he does not step down. The reports are yet to divulge the consequences if Trudeau decided against resigning. In fact, as per reports, during Wednesday's meeting, the Liberal MPs expressed concern over multiple issues such as the rising discontent within the party regarding Trudeau's leadership as well as the Liberal Party's preparations for next year's federal elections that need to be held before October 2025, by the way. But, reportedly, the biggest issue was the declining trend in Justin Trudeau's popularity that has reportedly reached an all-time low. With rival Conservatives reportedly leading over Liberals by 19 points, leading to major panic within the Liberal Party. As per reports, many Liberal MPs have been holding secret meetings to plan Justin Trudeau's ouster and save the party from a quote-unquote massive defeat in next year's election. Canadian Immigration Minister Mark Miller, reportedly a close ally of Trudeau, summed up the general sentiment. As per reports, Miller told reporters that the entire issue between Trudeau and the Liberal MPs has been quote-unquote simmering for some time and it was important for people to get it out. In fact, Miller said the entire incident was just MPs telling Trudeau the truth, whether Trudeau, quote-unquote, likes to hear it or not. So how exactly did Justin Trudeau, who led the Liberal Party to three consecutive election wins, become so unpopular? Not just within the Canadian public, but also within his own party. As per reports, the problems for Trudeau increased manifold June onwards when the Conservative Party won a by-election in Toronto. And the matter only worsened in September when the Liberal Party also lost the by-election in Montreal. As per reports, the loss of these two parliamentary seats was a massive blow for the Liberal Party as the two seats had traditionally been viewed as Liberal strongholds. Trudeau has become unpopular with the Canadian public. As per reports, Trudeau has failed to resolve key issues like high inflation, unaffordable housing and unemployment across Canada. Polls are also reflecting this growing public discontent among the Canadian people against Trudeau. And as we said last week, a poll by a Canadian not-for-profit organization, Angus Reid, showed Trudeau's disapproval rating to have risen from 39% in 2023 to 65%, a whopping difference. Meanwhile, his approval rating standing at just 30% compared to 51% last year. A lot has clearly changed. According to various reports, the strain in the diplomatic ties between Canada and India, stemming from the death of Hardeep Singh Nijjar, was an attempt by Trudeau to try and tackle his growing unpopularity levels and appeal to a key electoral demographic. How, you wonder? You see, Canada has a significant Sikh population, reportedly over 770,000, the fourth largest ethnic community in the country. And as per reports, some people in the Sikh community in Canada allegedly support the Khalistan movement. So by blaming India 
for the death of Hardeep Singh Nijjar, Trudeau is reportedly looking to appease and court some voters from this key electoral demographic. And it's important to note here that India has repeatedly denied having any role in the death of Hardeep Singh Nijjar, terming Canada's allegations as baseless. That's not all. Canada is yet to provide any evidence linking India to Nijjar's death. Meanwhile, Trudeau's rising unpopularity also reflecting in various polls, he is in serious trouble. Look at the numbers. As per a CBC News poll tracker, the Conservatives have a nearly 20-point lead over the Liberals and according to a poll by Nanos, a Canadian public opinion and research company that was released last week, the Conservatives have 39% of the public support with the Liberals on 23% and left-leaning New Democrats with 21%. And sensing opportunity, trying to make the most of the situation naturally, the leader of the Conservative Party and Trudeau's political rival has reportedly demanded fresh elections if Trudeau does not comply with the Liberal Party's decision to step down. And as it stands today, Trudeau's Liberal Party has 153 seats from the total 338 seats in the Canadian Parliament while the Conservative Party has 119 seats. Why are we telling you that? Well, because there are two things to keep in mind to form a majority. A Canadian party has to win 170 seats. The Liberal Party did not do so in 2021. And the second thing to keep in mind here is that both the 2021 and 2019 elections, even though they won the elections, the Liberal Party lost the popular vote to the Conservatives. So with Trudeau's growing unpopularity and Liberal Party's recent election defeat in the stronghold seats, these margins become even more significant. Whether Trudeau resigns next week or not, we can't say. But it is absolutely clear that Trudeau has just a few days to make a decision either way. And unfortunately for Trudeau, there is no way to stop the clock. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.